Hi, uh, this is Marcy from Dragonfly Avenue. Um, today, I'm gonna walk you through how to create gradients in Adobe XD. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so there are two types of gradients you can create. You can create a linear gradient or a radial gradient. So I'll show you both ways. Um, so first, we'll just start with the shape tool and get like a regular square. Uh, you can do this with um, any of the shapes. The only one that um, you can't really do it with is in letters. That's the only thing that I've noticed. Um, that might change in the future, but at this point you can't add a gradient to the actual text. Um, you'd probably have to do that in Illustrator first. Um, but you can add regular gradients to any of these three shapes. I'm going to start with a square. So here under fill, we're going to click that. And on the upper left hand corner it says solid color. All you have to do is click to or click down and you're going to see these other two options. So linear gradient and radial gradient. We're going to do a linear gradient first. So as you can see, a linear gradient is essentially just coming like from top to bottom or like even left to right. Um, totally kind of depends on like what you're creating, but it's just like a straight line essentially. Okay, so from here you can, uh, you'll see how like one of them has like, uh, is not filled in the center and the other one is. So when it's not filled, that means that's the color that's going to change when you um, change it. So you can add uh, your hex code if you have it here. Um, you can add like your RGB, um, any information. Um, so you can select it from here and you'll be able to see. Or like I have some colors off to the left, so I'm just going to like pop it using the eyedropper tool. So you can see that that changed. Then to change the one on the bottom, just go here. Again, I'm just gonna pull this from here. Um, and you have a nice gradient. Um, if you do want to add another color, you can kind of click wherever. And you'll see that another circle appears. And you can add another color. You can do this however many times you'd like. Um, you can also like move this around, play with it a bit um, to kind of get it to where you want. On here, you can move the gradient to where you want it. So if you want it more diagonal, you can change that. If you want it um, like left to right, you can do that. You can flip it um, and kind of like Play with it however you want. Um, if you also like, so this is contained in a in the rectangle currently. You can move this so then you can um, see that the that the purple is getting filled more, or you can kind of place it and like have um, I guess a little bit of fun with it and like see what exactly you want. And the same with the middle, like you can do it to each of them on an individual level. Um, so yeah, again, just play with it. Obviously this can be like a bigger, like, let's say you want the whole gradient in the background. Um, you know, you can change that and then you have that, um, already set up. Let me just like size this down so you can see it. And there is the linear gradient. Okay. Now for the radial so again you can do you don't need a circle per se for it um i should always think it looks better but we can try it with a triangle and see how that looks radial gradient so again like see this is why i think it looks better in a circle but if this is the style that you're looking for again you can add your hex your rgb whatever color um I am going to update this one first. Let's do this. And you can kind of see like that, that it's a more radial gradient. Um, and you can kind of move this up, change it, play with it, whatever you're kind of looking to do. Um, 
the way I did this one was uh, just a circle. And then I fade it. Oh. And then I fade it out towards like whatever background color. So in this case, kind of white. <laughs> uh, and it kind of blends in a little bit more. That's kind of the way I like to do it. Um, you can do like a transparent too, so that you can kind of like blend them. I'll show you how to blend in a second. Um, but yeah, let's do white for now. And again, you can like move this around, play with it, make it smaller, bigger, whatever it is that you're looking to do. Um, and then you have a radial gradient. Um, one thing to remember is you have to make sure your click, like if you, if you do the eyedropper tool, make sure you're clicking on the fill first and then grabbing the eyedropper from here. Um, if you pull it from here, you're going to change the whole color. So that's just a little minor detail. And then, yeah, if you want to blend, and let me pull, let me copy and paste this here. Let me copy and paste this here. And so I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to make the opacity zero. I can kind of expand this a little bit. I'm going to do the same here. Let me expand. You can kind of blend the two. It won't blend like super well. Well, it might blend a little bit better. I just I think I removed it a little bit out of. Yeah, so you can kind of start creating some sort of blend in a gradient. Um, and then you're pretty much set. So that is how you can create gradients in Adobe XD. Again, for now, you can't um, add like gradient in a text. So if you like, right? Okay. Like if you see under fill, it's not an option. So right now, you can only do full colors. Um, that's something you're going to have to do on either Photoshop or Illustrator. Um, but you can do it on all the shapes and it looks cool. Play around with it. Check it out. Um, and yeah, thanks so much. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Uh, don't forget to check out Dragonfly Avenue um, and get some freebies from there as well. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.